Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for the end of the month show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If this is your first time to one of the end of the month show us your sheet load slash happy mail features, you are in for a wonderful surprise. I like to stop by each month and share with you the cards that I received in my P.O. box for the month. Sometimes these are cards based on sheet loads and other times they're just cards just because. If you ever want to show us your sheet load, I do have a video linked in that description box below that will give you all the details on how to do that. You can play along using the hashtags for the month that you create with on YouTube or Instagram, and you can also send in cards for me to share here on video. If you would like to see the YouTube videos and the Instagram posts for this month's sheet load, I will have those searches linked in the description box below. I hope that you'll go check out those people's videos and or Instagram posts and leave them some love. This is always one of my favorite videos to make each month. And this month, I think it's going to be extra special. My box was chock full every time I went there. So I know that we're going to have some beautiful cards to share today. Since there were so many this month, let's go ahead and get right into it. This first card did not come in my P.O. box, but it is from a special person in my life, and that is my mom. I just love the layout of this, and fall leaves are my favorite. Thank you so much, Mom, for your beautiful card and note. Next up is a new friend I made at Stamp Joy, and that is Terry from Minnesota. She sent me a little envelope with a note and a beautiful card and a couple prints on photo paper. One was that quote and the other was that lovely butterfly. I just love how on the card with the girl's glasses, she used some, is it crystal effects, but just to make them look more like glasses. Thank you so much, Terry, and I will definitely get one of my business cards sent out to you with a card for you. And speaking about Stamp Joy, I just wanted to stop by with a quick reminder that if you're watching this video before about November 6, 2021, there is still time to watch all of my Stamp Joy vlogs and be entered to win a $50 gift certificate to Tailored Expressions. I will link the video where the thumbnail is shown on the screen in the description box below. Sharon M. of Indiana sent me this beautiful Christmas card with matching envelope. I love how she rotated the October 2021 sketch and then also used a torn piece of paper on the back flap of the envelope. Thank you so much, Sharon. Christina M. of Illinois used the September 2021 sheet load to create this beautiful Christmas card, which she has actually made a 5x7 from the sketch. Thank you, Christina. Debbie V. from Florida sent in two cards this month. On the left, she used September 2021, and on the right is her version of the October 2021. I especially love her focal point. She used again some crystal effects on it and I love the vellum behind it with the sparkly edge. Thank you, Debbie. Jennifer D of California also sent in cards, one for September and one from October 2021. I especially love the fall feel of the September one and it's kind of hard to see on screen, but that acorn is a gold foil. Thank you so much, Jennifer. 
In the next envelope was a fun with two ends surprise from Mary of Missouri, and you may recognize her from Craft Roulette. She sent me a card that was inspired by one of Lisa and I's Oh So Inspired Lives, and then on the right, it's a little mini album she made me with photos from my trip to visit her earlier this year. If you want to see that vlog and crafty road trip, I will have it linked is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Mary. Shelly D from Pennsylvania sent in this beautiful example using October 2021. I am loving that striped paper which has gold foiling on it and her beautiful focal point. Thank you, Shelly. Terry R. of Massachusetts also used October 2021, and she made a witchy card, which she said was stepping out of her comfort zone, and I think it turned out so nicely. Thank you for sharing, Terry. Cheryl S. of Utah also went with a little Halloween theme for her October 2021 sheet load, and I especially love all of the different layers and texture on her focal point. Thank you, Cheryl. Rachel S. from Canada also did a Halloween themed, but this was a play on the September 2021 sheet load of cards. I love that sparkly cat and that fun sentiment. Thanks so much, Rachel. Sue S. of South Carolina sent in this beautiful card using the August 2021 sheet load. I am loving the richness of the papers and all of the gold foiling both on the die cut sentiment and the papers. Thank you for sharing, Sue. Carol of Indiana sent in this beautiful fall card that used September 2021. I love, love, love that background paper and then the little decoration you put on the sentiment piece using those same images. Thank you so much for sharing, Carol. Janet C. of Illinois sent in a beautiful October example with a winter theme. I love her focal point, of course, with the vellum and how she has added some extra elements outside of that area with some die cut snowflakes. Thank you, Janet. Jessica N. of Florida sent in this beautiful vintage example using the October 2021 sheet load. And she has also used a clear card base, so you can see here how it opens and what you see from the front is actually part of the inside. Thank you so much for sharing this, Jessica. Diane A. of California has a very cute example using September 2021 for Halloween. And there is that sentiment again. I just love that. Thank you so much, Diane, for sending in a card. Lori K. from Minnesota sent me this beautiful fall card using the October 2021 sheet load. I love the colors in this fall pattern paper and how she has created that focal point with die cut leaves in the same colors. Thank you, Lori. Cheryl L. of Nebraska sent me this Halloween card and I just love that cute little spooky ghost. I think I might have to go grab myself a couple pieces of candy now. Thanks so much, Cheryl. Heather H. of New York sent me this lovely fall card along with just a very nice note inside. She said that after she die cut those openings in the strip of paper that she did a little water coloring behind them. Just beautiful, Heather. Thank you for sharing and your note. Kim D. of Alabama sent this lovely fall card in that uses a September 2021 sheet load. I love the colors in that plaid paper and that leaf die cut. Thank you so much, Kim. Jill B. of Maryland must know that I am a fan of rainbows. She sent me this lovely card with a note inside just because. Thank you so much, Jill, for taking the time to do that. I love how you made that rainbow. D.H. of Montana sent me this beautiful example of the June 2019 sheet load of cards. Inside was a lovely note, and I am loving the florals with that yellow pattern paper. Thank you so much, D. Wanda R. from Virginia sent in two gorgeous samples this month. 
On the left is September and on the right is October 2021. They both feature some gold foiling on the focal points and the pattern papers and I especially love the fun shape on the one on the right. Instead of using a circle, she used this beautiful die cut shape. Paula D of Florida sent me this cute Halloween card. I like that fun little image and the texture that the fiber behind it gives the card. Thank you so much, Paula. Vicki R of Oklahoma sent in so many lovely examples this month that I couldn't fit them all on a single screen. So here are two photos that share a look at various sheet load of cards examples. I love each and every one of them and thank you so much for sharing with me, Vicki. Joan O of Denmark also sent in a sheet load of cards, but all 10 that you see on screen are using the October 2021. She has went with a love kind of Valentine's Day theme, and you'll see here in the second photo, she used the torn scraps from all those to create this card as well. Such a great idea. Thank you so much for sharing these, Joan. Next up is a couple packages I got from my crafty Irish friends, Trish and Rita. In the first package from Trish was an envelope for my sister and an envelope for me containing this theater card on the left. She had seen that Lisa and I created one at Stamp Joy, so she made one for me. And imagine my surprise when I opened up that theater card and it was featuring Hamilton. My mouth dropped open. This is just gorgeous and so thoughtful and it already has a special place up on my shelf. Now a little fun fact is, if you're watching this on Sunday, October 31st, you might actually be watching it when I am at the theater seeing Hamilton again. I'm super excited to have tickets as they stop by Omaha and I am definitely going to treasure this card and will remember the special time that it came. Thank you so much. Not only did I get that beautiful Hamilton card, but she also shared 10 other cards that were inspired by Sheetload. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time and effort to send in cards. I always love to see what you and Rita are creating together. And speaking of Rita, she sent in three lovely cards this month. They do use various October sheet loads of cards, I believe. And then the one all the way over on the right opens up in a Z fold. This was the rewind I did this month to October 2019. So I will link that video in the description box below. Thank you so much, Rita, for your beautiful cards. And last but not least were two envelopes from Karen C. of Virginia. She is always taking the time each month to not only do the current sheet load of cards, but then she also rewinds back and shares samples of those with me. So here you'll see various cards from September and October. And while I'm talking about Karen, I want to say how I think if we lived closer, we would be the best of crafting friends. She is part of my channel membership, so she gets to join in on the monthly live videos and craft with me. And normally I get pretty nervous around new people, but there is something about her that just puts me at ease and seems like we're old friends. And after seeing the Stamp Joy vlogs, she is considering talking to her friend about trying to come to next fall's in-person Stamp Joy. I think that would be so fun to be able to just meet her in person and hang out and craft. If you agree, let her know in that comment section below and maybe just give her that extra push she needs. Thank you so much, Karen, for being a viewer, a subscriber, a channel member and someone I would consider a friend. I'll bet you can see why now this is one of my favorite videos to share each month. If you enjoyed seeing everybody's wonderful creations, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.